Well, tonight we're going to be doing a bit of an experiment and we're going to be letting a cement mixer style a tree and see how she goes. First off, if I sound a bit off, it's because the sun had tonsillitis this week and well, the last few days, you know, I felt like absolute dog poo. He gave me, gave me whatever he had. Um, so I'm struggling through. We don't feel quite with it. And maybe that's what pushed me to this. But let's talk about this video. I thought it would be a cool idea if styling a tree was completely out of your hands. So I had two options. I could do a live stream and just get people to style and cut stuff off. But I thought, you know what? If I do that, there's always going to be someone that wants to cut something off and you'll end up with nothing, possibly. Or, anyway, I thought what I could do is a cement mixer. I just chuck it in, it does itself, whatever, whatever comes out of the cement mixer, that's it. Um, and depending on how today goes, um, I could um, either keep it, I could do it every year for 10 years or so, or whatever, and see how a cement mixer styles the tree. And that'll just prove that anyone can style a tree, even a cement mixer. So let's see how we go. And I thought, you know, one, this one needs repotting. Two, it's got lots of weeds, so maybe the cement mixer. I might even put some water in here. We'll actually clean some of these weeds out. We don't know. Who knows? But <coughs> I thought, <coughs> excuse me, I thought I could not get a really crappy, weak beginner tree to do this experiment. I had to get something half decent. I don't know if you guys have seen this tree. It's an olive, very small leaves, beautiful form. Everything about it's quite beautiful. It can easily make a really nice tree in another couple of years without the cement mixer. But I thought, I can't go doing it on a crappy tree. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to jump right in, go the whole hog and do it on this tree. So, first things first, let's get out this pot. Put some water in, turn her on and let's see what happens. That was easy. Beautiful. Obviously, I'm not going to throw it in with a pot, you know, that would just be dumb. Because throwing a good bonsai into a cement mixer is not dumb. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to put some water in. We're going to chuck it in and see what happens. Working out worse than I thought. It looks brutal. Oh. Oh. My God, guys, I can't believe that I'm doing this. This is just silly. Get a mess everywhere. Okay guys, looks brutal, doesn't it? I'm sure it is. Um, well, we're five minutes later at least. A lot of leaves and stuff falling off. Wow. 
Certainly cleaned the brute ball. Got rid of the weeds. Look at that. Weed it up and clean the root ball for me. I could probably take it out like that, replant it, and it should be all sweet. Look at that. For the top, what happened to the top? Okay, so there's a lot of stuff in the top, but money it's just roots and stuff. Hmm, interesting, interesting. I don't even think it's broken one branch, too flexible. Well, that's not going to style it, is it? Alright, don't worry, i got plan B. Let's get into it. Put it in head first this time. Turn it on. in the high collapse but I've chucked another three bricks in there so it's had well let's get them out one two three four five six bricks in there Now let's see what our damage is. I think it's going to be severe. Well, look at this in the bottom. Already found a branch. So it looks like it's done a bit of self pruning in the cement mixer. There's something. I'll tell you what, without the bricks, the olive was pretty tough. With the bricks, I don't know. Well, wow. okay, another broken branch here. Lots of broken branches around the place. Oh yeah, a lot of broken branches. Oh yeah. Um, okay, roots, well, I think we lost a lot of roots in that process. But, you know, that was the aim of the game. Styling by cement mixer. Here's another broken branch at the top. Another one here. So styling by cement mixer. Next job, let's just give her a wash up and see what we got. That was brutal. Okay guys, we're outside. I'm just gonna give it a bit of a wash. Out of our own hands. 
you know, to be honest, guys, I had to walk out the shed. It was brutal. Hearing it get smashed around. Um, I walked out the shed and just let it go. Ten minutes. I think I did five minutes. Then I put the bricks in, left another five. So I've broken a key branch off the top here. But we'll have a look at that later. Like I say, this is all out of my hands. And I didn't want any input into the styling. I just wanted the cement mixer to do the whole thing. Now guys, front of the camera or phone is just completely covered in stuff. Wow. Okay guys. Well, that was a hell of an experiment. And it was very hard for me to sit and watch it and not turn it off. So I had to walk out the shed and let the process just happen. Um, it stripped a lot of bark off the trunk, a lot of bark off the branches, lots of bark off. Broken a lot of branches that I wanted. Broken the main key branch at the top that covered in this whole area. Now it's bald. Snap this one in half. Shorten this one dr dramatically. Look at that. It's just a stub looking at us with no branches now. The only thing I'm going to do done by man is cut off the branches that are completely broken. Right, so this one here is broken, but it's hanging down. I'm going to leave that. Just because you never know, it might heal itself. So we'll see. I just want to The ones that are completely gone, 100%, I'm cutting off. The ones that could heal, I'm going to treat it like, you know, it was in an avalanche or something. And it got broken, and who knows, it might bloody, it might bloody re-heal at a different angle, you never know. <coughs> um, the trunk is completely scut up, almost like my sandpaper video. Okay. You're okay, bud? Yeah. Okay, so it's 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 got a lot of branches, taken a lot of leaves off, shortened a lot of branches. It was probably twice the size when it went in. Maybe not quite, but it feels like it was. And it's come out scun with a lot less branching. And I'm just getting rid of the dead stuff, broken stuff. Completely broken, I mean. Okay, stuff that's still hanging on, like this one, still sort of hanging on there. I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna leave it. This one here is broken, but hanging on. So we'll leave it. It is broken back, well, it's a pretty bad break, but we'll just leave it. Let it see what, see what it wants to do, if it wants to heal, as if it all happened in nature. Styling out of my hands. That's it, so now we're gonna pot it up. The root, root wise, you know, that one was broken. It's actually cleaned the roots pretty well. Yes, it did lose a lot of the fine feeder roots, but it's still got quite a few roots there. Should be all right. So let's pot her up, see what happens. Like I say, we ended up with six bricks. Also, I'll just show you, we lost our main, it's one of the most interesting branches we had. It was carved out there with a nice branch that filled in this whole area here. And that snapped off completely, completely removed. Trunk has been scunned badly. Okay, all over the place, it's been scunned real bad. Branches have been scunned really bad. You can see. Look at that. It's really done a number. But let's see what happens. Put it back in the pot, wait another. Six months to a year and maybe do it again, we'll see. It's gonna be a pretty weird, weird sadistic sort of experiment, ongoing experiment on this tree to just see how she goes. Jeez. Drop my snips. So yeah, like I say, I've been a bit under the weather, but I'm still trying to pump out a video here. And I know this video won't be for everyone. But I'm sure even if this video is not for you, you 
you'll still be pretty interested in you'll still be pretty interested in blah, blah, blah. my brain's not even working I don't it just hasn't been working for a good week but anyway you'll be interested in the outcome <coughs> oh, <it's coughs> oh, Jesus oh I'll tell you what, when your kids make you sick, I was 100% healthy until Seth got tonsillitis. Now look at me, I'm like a dying old man. Probably deserve it after what I just did to this tree. I did feel real bad. I literally did have to walk out the shed while it played. But you know what, I told myself I'm doing it. For 10 minutes, five minutes without the bricks and because that didn't do any damage, I did five minutes with the bricks. Now, has the front changed? So that was the front before. I think that's still the back. It's another thing that could happen because it's getting smashed around. I don't really know. The front could change on its own. That really is broken off. Yeah, that branch is gone. I'm going to cut it. It's out the front anyway, and it's coming way too far out. I know I shouldn't say that because I'm just letting it style itself, but it was pretty well broken. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it. So let's let's just finish potting it up. I already had screens in here from four. Um, I'm just going to pour some more mix in. Obviously, I don't have to weak it in too much because most of the roots were, well, broken off. Obviously, if you're going to do something silly like this, which no, none of you guys would, you just, I'm guessing you're interested to see what happens. Don't do it on a tree that's, one, not hardy, and two, don't do it on a tree that don't bud back. If you did this on a pine or something, you know, your pine's toast. If it breaks off branch. Your pie is toast. So if you're going to do something dumb like this, at least do it on something that's going to bud back, guys. I would say and girls, but only about 2% of people that watch me. Understandably, because I am a bit of a bit of a bogan. About 2% of girls watch me. So mainly guys, so guys and the odd girl, don't Try anything silly like this on a tree. That's not hardy. We know olives are hardy. Hardiest tree I know. And I'm going to let it sit there for another year or two. It could be a two year project because I don't like repotting every year. I think if you repot every two years is more than enough. In fact, I normally only repot every three to four years and that only depends on how much it's grown into the pot so this one could be getting repotted more than normal just so we can style the top of the cement mixer anyway that's it done guys you can see you know it's lost a lot of its bulk but it still has most of its primary branches where they need to be Apart from this big one here that snapped off right in the key location. But that's part of the fun. Let's just see how she gets styled. Good old cement mixer. Styling the tree. Okay guys, well I'll chuck it on a turntable. Give it a spin. Let's just know what she looks like now. Oh, that's so heavy. Oh, nearly broke my wrist. Okay, guys. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, I missed the Jeremy. Luckily, germs can't transport over the internet yet. One day they might be able to, but not yet. Um, just how I am, but I thought I'd still bring out a video. All right, give you guys a quick spin now. I'm bringing the light a bit closer, so you can see. We've still got potential. Um, I feel like we've taken it backwards, not forwards. But it'll be interesting over time whether it continues to go backwards or whether stuff 
close in gets stronger and more and more um, calloused or you know stronger and whether or not it will then start developing as far as going forward not backwards be interesting and maybe I'll put less bricks in with it or smaller bricks maybe some stones because I feel like six house bricks banging away on this is pretty harsh anyway cement mixer style in the olive bit dumb I know but well, that's me dumb very very simple man and I do some simple experiments cheers for watching Ozzy Podzor bloke Please like, share, subscribe, tell your mates about the channel. <coughs> Hopefully next time I'm feeling a bit better and I can get on to some ton. But at the moment, you know, things aren't looking too good. But we still made a video. And hopefully I'll be on the improve soon. Cheers. Once again, tell your mates, please share. Please subscribe. Really like you guys to subscribe. And I'll catch you next time. Cheers. Here we go, guys.